Mm. So I'll say it's going very well. Training is good. I'm training too hard. I get a quality sparring, good sparring with different people. Mm. I'm think I'm ready now. I can feel the body is getting ready now. And we are four weeks away from the fight, but I'm I'm feeling very good now. To be honest with you, it's not my issue, it's not my problem. I, I would think at this level that they have. Um, we'll see on fight night, but it's not a concern of mine. So my concern is Maruti and what we're going to do to Mohammed Wasim, who's a very competent fighter, very good fighter. I believe world class as well. But I think as good as he is, Mtilani is going to be better on the night. Yes, of course. We've, uh, we've working with some new things. Uh, according to the opponent style and uh, we're working on our our strategy to defeat the, my opponent yeah. watch some few of his footage of his fight no I, I, I don't undermine him i don't take him for granted he's very good very good but for sure i'll defeat him no no i don't think so but he has had an extensive amateur career silver medalist at the commonwealth games 2014 i believe lost to Andrew Maloney. Um, he felt that it was a controversial decision. I saw the fight, so that's my opinion. I have my opinion, he's got his. He's a very good fighter, and I believe he is gonna bring it to Maruti, and um, I think we're gonna see a great, great fight between the two of them. Mm, I think after I win in this title, yes, I think it will be different than before. Then before, if, before even I lost my, my, my bet on, 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 on the table, I didn't get much fights to defend, that's why I lost it. I'm confident now, once I regain it, I'll get more opportunities to defend it. Yeah. First of all, I'll wait till 15 July, then when my belt is on my waist, it's where I will talk about all the unifications, who's next, who I'm gonna fight. But just now, I'm concentrating on fighting Mohammed Wasim and win the title, then we can discuss that later. Um, I do believe Selby will now fight Christopher Rosales for the WBC title and you know one step at a time one fight at a time um, Please God when Maruti wins this championship. I'm confident not overconfident that he will um, You know then we'll talk. We'll see what the next step is, but right now 15th of July Mohammed Rasim the IBF flyweight world championship. That's in my mind right now. Nothing else. I'm taking him very seriously anyway Throughout my career, I've never taken anyone for granted to win the fight. He's got uh, eight fights, six knockouts, and uh, I think he's a good background. Um, he's a, he has a good amateur background. He's very good. I don't take him for granted. Yes. We are confident about your talent. You've done the work. You've got the correct team in your corner. And uh, we know that you're not going to disappoint us. Uh, like we said earlier on, that title belt is quite important. Uh, you are going to become champion, world champion number 11 when you win. So on the 15th, for me, it's not about if, it's about when you win, because I know you win. We believe in you and we are excited that you landed this opportunity. That's all you needed. And the opportunity is here now to turn it into a victory and the world title belt around your waist. I know it's a given. We, co uh, we are confident about you. So I'm not going to say how we're going to win. I'm just going to say that we are going to win. And I also feel that this is probably going to be one of the greatest comebacks in South African boxing history where a guy comes and his career is pretty much dead and gone. And all of a sudden now he gets this amazing opportunity on such a great platform. To fight on a Manny Pacquiao undercard is just something sensational. And it's great for South African and African boxing. My prediction is we're going to win. How are we going to win? I'm not going to say, but I'm confident that we're going to win on the 15th of July. Mm, always, when I go to the fight, I always full prepared for 12 rounds. I won't say it will be knockout, I won't say it will be on point. Mm, I'm ready for 12 rounds, but one, one, one thing I know at the end of the, of the day, I'm the one who's going to be victorious. If no, I'm ready for 12 rounds, if knockout comes, it's going to be a bonus for me. Mm, to all my family, Thank you very much for supporting me, for always encouraging me to train hard, to train hard, preparing for the fight, and to always my friends and my supporters. I really appreciate your support all the time. I know when you fight, even now I'm going to fight uh, away from home in Malaysia, but I know you, here at home, all of you guys will be support me. Mm, and uh, I would like to thanks to all my sponsorships uh, for always uh, after my back, uh, Jason Lobel of Telsteel and uh, Tyrin Hodgson, uh, Beverly Stace. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your help throughout my career.